Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we've got one system from the user Kerbal today, so massive thank you to them for sending in their system. It was recommended I use update 32 or 33 for this, so we've gone back to update 33 actually. So as we can see here, it's now eight months out of date, so it's quite a while. So I'm guessing there's a few things in here that were made quite a while ago before he actually submitted this. Um, so it should be interesting. Uh, he said, a somewhat old system I'm sending because I haven't finished newer ones. Possibly might swap it out for a later simulation. Um, well, I've, I've done it now, unfortunately. So we are going to go ahead and see what he has sent us. So, workshop should already be in there. Let's see. And it's this system here, the Nisi Alf system. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right. This is the fourth system in the Orion Systems Pack. So I'm guessing that's part of stuff he sent me before, I'm guessing. And these names, oh my god, you are going to kill me here. <laughs> right. First edition to the pack in a very long time. It could be the last since the law of my main imaginary universe got completely overhauled while I was making it. Right. So the first planet, we've got Nisi Alf. Which that's the star, I should say. A distant K-type star in the outer frontiers of the Ryan sector. It was settled by a small Welsh population in 1588 AD, led by the Colwyn Bivans and his sons. Although several centuries have passed, the colony barely grew, even in the 21st century, still consisting of a single town with a castle surrounded by farmland. The Lordship controls the settlement by extension the system. Okay. First of the planets. Sagal Lorash. Named Flame and Shade by Humble Scott. Uh, this... A small planet is side locked and has a very visible molten day side, as you can see. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Next up, we got Anion. A tightly locked gas uh, planet about uh, the size of Neptune, but significantly less massive. Its atmosphere is mostly covered in orange haze with occasional chloride clouds. It was named after a bishop of Bagnor in Wales who helped fund the settlement. Next up, we got Tryon. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a lot of Welsh here. And yeah, they I'm not gonna even try and say some of these. So this one I'll call it Tryon. So here it is. Named after a mountain in northern Wales. It is the largest planet in the system, a warm gas giant. The planet's atmosphere is mostly clear, save for the pale clouds on the poles. Despite being close to the star, the planet managed to capture and keep some small moons there, named after other places in the region of Wales. Okay. And as if anyone knows Wales. I mean, I'm only in the country next to Wales, as I'm in England, but they have a lot of long names. <laughs> and as we can see, they are on perfect show here. So here we go. There you go. And there you are. Very nice. Okay. Cool. Next up, we've got this one. Yuns Mon. The second gas giant in the system, named after the traditional name of the island of Anglesey. Angle, say. Somewhat of a Saturn equivalent in the system without rings, though. It does have a moon with a thick atmosphere and oceans named after a vacuum in Notch. The settler, ship captain who originally lived on the island, the planet is named after. Okay. So there's the moon. It's got a few of those. All with long names as well. So a very Welsh system. <laughs> um, next up, we got this one. So, Louise Byrons, a large rocky planet orbits in the outer edge of the Hattel zone. It is named after Colwyn Byron's father. The planet is barren, but surface suggests a history of volcanic activity. Close to Hattel Moon with the settlement, the moon is named after a town in uh, Siridigan, where the family originated from. Okay, here it is here, moon as well. Nice earth like condition looking one, cool, cool. We've got Arian here as well, another moon. Cool. Next up, we have got this one here. Do I or sure? Or sh have you said that? The system's Mars equivalent. A small and gold rocky planet coming off uh, the inhabitable one. Uh, its name means something like two sides because some areas of it are more rocky and dark while others are covered in bright ice. In addition to two asteroid moons, it has a third one named after its appearance, a red spotted rock. So that's there. And then you got this one here. Craig Faith Gosh. A red spotted rock. There you go. Next up, we've got Louise Bivens. Oh, we did that one, didn't we? No, sorry. No, we did we? Yeah, we did. We have one more saying. Yeah, we did that. So we're heading to Dwight or Shaw. So we did that. Yeah, sorry. I've completely lost my um, sense of direction there. In the system, there's also a large asteroid center like body before the final planet. It's partially 
rounded and the name means wild mountain which is that orbit there isn't it this guy there you go um then we have got Orni Pell, the outermost planet, a large ice giant with a pale atmosphere. Its name translates to distant cold. It has a ring system but no major moons, with the largest being a sizable icy asteroid named a big snowball in Welsh. So if you want to do some Welsh lessons, I believe the creator of this system is your guy. So here we are. There you go. Cool. The final object in this system is a large star grazer comet. Who yeah. So lots of Welsh. <laughs> um its name translates to Sun Toucher. While its current orbit result in returns a little over every 20 years, it might get perturbed by the giant planets. Okay, there we go. So that was the Nessie Ulf system. There we are. Very nice indeed. So there's your Welsh lesson of the week, everybody. So yeah, that was submitted by the user Kerbal and Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending their system. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button as well. Let's see if we can go for 100 likes today um, on this video, guys. And also subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 40,000 subscribers as we recently hit 37,000. So I really, really appreciate all of your support on that. It means the world. Absolutely amazing stuff. And yeah, we're less than 3,000 people till the big 40,000 now, I should say. So absolutely crazy stuff. Have to think of some start planning something soon. But anyways, yeah, like I said, with that, we'll send done. Make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.